everyone. My name is Isabel. I am the teen librarian at the Altadena Library District. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the service Hoopla to download books, audiobooks, TV shows, movies, to stream, watch, whatever on your uh, browser or on an app based device like a phone or a tablet. Hoopla is a unique service that we offer in that unlike other uh, digital library services, with Hoopla you do not have wait times to receive items. The way that you would with Cloud Library uh, where you might have to put a hold on an item and wait until someone else is finished with it for you to get access to it, Hoopla gives you instant access to all of their materials. They also have a lot of TV shows and movies available, so it's really unique and it's maybe my favorite one to use. All right, I'm gonna walk you through how to download it for a phone um, and get started with browsing and searching on your phone, and then we're gonna cover how to use it in a browser. If you are downloading Hoopla for the first time on your phone or your tablet, this is the icon you're going to look for in the App Store. And then when you first open up the app, it's going to prompt you to make a new account, which you're going to click on down here, sign up. It's going to ask you for your email address and then a password. Once you've entered an email address and a password, it's going to ask you to search for the library that you're using Hoopla through. In this case, it's going to be the fabulous Altadena Library. You're going to search and it comes right up there, Altadena Library District. Tap, agree. You're going to enter your card number. If you're not familiar with your card number, go ahead um, and give us a phone call or log on to our website and use the chat function to talk with a uh, library staff and provide some personal details so we can confirm your identity and we'll get you that card number. Once you've typed it in, you're going to hit next and you will be good to go. All right, so once you're logged into your new Hoopla account, it's going to take you to home, which is this icon on the far left here at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. Um, if this is your first time using Hoopla, you won't see anything on your home page. Uh, what I'm seeing here is items that I have currently borrowed. I have an audiobook here. And then it's also going to show you items that you have previously borrowed, which is kind of nice that it keeps a record of everything else that you've checked out. Um, I'm going to walk you through searching and browsing first. So at the bottom here next to home, you have video, music, books, and search. From, for video, music, and books, it's going to give you browsing options, which is really nice. So up here at the top, it shows you movies or television, and you can switch between those two. Um, and it's mostly, and then it's going to show you here, popular, recommended, and featured. Recommended is going to be based on anything that you've previously checked out. Um, I believe so, or it's just going to show you whatever it, whatever it wants to recommend you. <laughs> It's going to show you popular and again there's some uh, ways to sort of filter your searches here um, you can go through genres so if you're like I want sci-fi fantasy I want documentary this is really useful you just swipe it down to get back to this page you can also sort all of the searches by popularity title user rating you can filter all of the results by when it came out uh, the language, children's titles only, uh, user rating, and again, you can also toggle between filter and sort from the same menu. And again, just click back here to get back to the main screen. Um, same goes for music, uh, popular, recommended, featured. You can sort, filter, you have all your music genres, swipe that down, and then books. Up at the top, your options are audiobooks, comics, love that, and ebooks. And again, popular, recommended, featured, filter, sort, and the genres. So let's go through what we would want to do if we find something we like. So let's say I want to listen to cello classics. Sounds amazing. And like I said earlier in the video, everything on Hoopla is available for immediate borrowing. You don't have to wait for anything. I really like that because you don't have to worry about placing a hold 
or if some of these titles are available or not. They are all available. So I'm interested in cello classics. I'm going to tap on the icon there and it's going to bring it up for me. It's going to show me uh, just a little description of the item, a track list if you're looking at movie or sorry at music, um, a user rating. You have the option here to favorite it. So if you're not going to check it out right now, but you want to come out and check it out later, you can favorite it and it'll be available from your home page under favorites. If you're feeling confident about cello classics, you're just going to tap borrow. You're going to agree to a seven day loan period and it'll tell you here if the loan period is different. For audiobooks or books, it's about three weeks, I think. Um, but for other titles, it's a different loan period. And all of the items are automatically returned when you're done with them. You're going to hit borrow. It's going to take a minute. It's going to ask you to rate the app. <laughs> and then you are set. You can hit play here. It's going to show you a little tutorial about how to swipe through the tracks or something. Um, but then here you are. You're playing, the, you're playing cello classics. Um, we're going to pause. We're going to minimize. And now, if you go back to home, you're going to see that as one of your borrowed items. Um, and when you select it, it's going to, and you hit play again, it'll take you right back to the same spot you left off. All right, I'm going to quickly show you now how you watch a movie or a TV show on your app. Um, if you do the same process for borrowing it, and then when you hit play or resume in this case, um, you're going to get this window is or something close to it depending on the type of uh, device you're using um, you have a couple options here volume you know play pause captions and subtitles are here um, changing the size of the screen is up here and then depending on the kind of device you have you'll also have the option to stream this to another device so I have an iPhone, I have an AirPlay option, I can stream it to like a, a smart TV or something like that. It really depends on your devices, um, how that feature is going to work, but that is really convenient and good to know. If you, so as it says here, the title will automatically be returned. If you're done with it and you like don't want to see it on your homepage anymore, you can hit return and it'll return prematurely. So audiobooks, the play is pretty similar to a CD um, in that you have the different tracks, obviously, and you skip through and play those. For ebooks, if you choose to download one, let's see, Diary of a Wimpy Kid sounds great. Um, again, same borrowing process. I'm going to hit borrow. And it's going to take a minute to download. And it's ready to read so fast. That's why I love Hoopla. All right. So this is the sort of way, the layout for reading a book on the app. Um, you use your finger to swipe through the pages. Um, and then if you tap there, it'll minimize sort of the navigation. And if you tap the screen again, okay, why is it not showing up? Oh, you tap at the bottom of the screen. Um, it's going to bring it back up. And then this scrolling sort of bar is going to let you move through the book to a certain point. When you're done, um, it'll save your spot. So when you hit resume, it'll go back to that spot that you were last at. And something that I really like about Hoopla is if you are doing a CD or an audiobook, um, let's see, like the audiobook that I'm listening to. So when you go to the main page for it and you hit resume, so you're back in sort of the player mode. If you, I'm going to pause it right now. If you swipe to the left, I love this. You can set a sleep timer. This is my favorite thing. So if you're listening to it before bed or something, you can set a timer for the recording to go off in 20 minutes and you don't have to worry about turning your phone off or about it playing too late into the evening and you lose your spot. It's a great little feature. That's a little Easter egg for ya. All right, so that's basically the run of the Hoopla app. 
pretty straightforward and easy to use, a lot like many other uh, apps for digital content and reading, uh, with just the added bonus of videos and music here. Let's move on and just peek through the web browser really quickly. All right, so if you are looking to use Hoopla in your browser, so on your laptop or desktop computer, first step is obviously to check out our website, altadinalibrary.org. Under the tab here, Resources, you're going to go to Digital Reading and Streaming. And Hoopla will be waiting right here for you. Ta-da! That blue logo. What's convenient about Hoopla is that you only have to log in with your um, email address and password uh, once you've created your account. So you don't have to enter your library card number every time, uh, which is useful if you are like me and can't remember your library card number every time. So the homepage, My Hoopla, you know, looks pretty similar to the app in that it's going to show you um, your current checkouts and it's going to make some recommendations for you based on what you've checked out previously and then your favorites down there at the bottom. The My Hoopla up here is also going to show you your history if you want to get that history. So it works pretty much the same way as the app. Uh, under Browse here, you're going to have your options for audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, television. Um, and you're going to have sort of the same tabs here of recommended, featured, your categories or genres. You have sort and you have filter here. Um, one thing that is useful to know about uh, Hoopla is that you are limited to five checkouts per month. And even if you return an item, that still counts towards your checkout. So I have four right now, but I have previously checked out another one. Um, so I cannot check out anymore. I've reached my borrowing limit. And even if I return these, it's still gonna, it's not gonna let me borrow new ones. So just keep that in mind with Hoopla that you are limited to your checkouts. Um, but I want to show you what it looks like if you are uh, listening or using a player or anything in the browser here. It's going to pop up as this toolbar at the bottom. This is for an audiobook. Um, and this little arrow at the corner here is going to bring up the full page. With the full page, you can get, you know, chapter listings, leave a bookmark, my favorite sleep timer option right here. Um, and then pause and all of those functions as well. Movies are going to play the same way uh, in this sort of pop-up browser here um, and same with your ebooks. So that's about it. If you want to play with your settings over here, this is just going to, um, you know, let you know how you want to receive notifications, um, how you want to receive your recommendations, or if you have genres that are interesting to you, it'll make recommendations based on the genres you select here, which is really nice. Um, and your library, Altadena Library District. Ta -da! So that is Hoopla. Enjoy. Please go have fun renting everything you can possibly get your hands on, five items a month, <laughs> um, and, and enjoy it. Hoopla is a, is a great service, and it's one of many digital streaming services offered by the Altadena Library District. Um, and you can find more tutorials and more options through our website. Have a good one.